Are we going to have a slut walk in New York? I don't know. It's Toronto, London, Copenhagen, right? A couple. How come we haven't had a slut walk? Um, I know that Sylvie from Canada has the topless. The topless walk. If people don't know what slut walk is, it's women getting together or having a prayer, and they all dress like sluts. And the point is that we can dress any which way we want. And it's not the burden isn't on us to control male sexuality. I think that's what it's a knee jerk. I, it, that that's the knee jerk response. And then I always being more practical. I mean, I understand the philosophy. And yes, and being a New Yorker, I mean, you're on the street and you can go down some uh, streets and be a little lonesome. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I would say only under certain circumstances do you want to dress like a slut. I mean, you can't. And everyone says, "I have a right to do this," but oh. Yeah, that, of course we have a right to do that. We have a right to do a lot of things. But sometimes it's not advisable. That's all I'm saying. And I learned this the hard way. When I first came to New York, I went out on the street with my high heels and my fanciest outfit and my do and all my bad, blah, blah, and especially when I went blonde. Oh, well, that's a sexual cue. I mean, it's blonde. just like, pow, pow. And I was followed, whistled. Uh, they would grab my arm and insist I have... Because if you dress like you're inviting sex, right? So we have this system, and, and kind of people argue it's a rape culture because we encourage it is. men to be aggressive, women are passive, and then if there's any sexual cue that the woman gives that she's interested in sex, then the man can move forward, and sometimes no means yes, and it's okay, and we kind of perpetuate all of this. You know, I don't, I don't have an answer for this except that, that sexual repression makes us all crazy. I mean, I, yeah. I'll, I will blanket it. I think women go, go nuts around this, and I think men go nuts around this. You know, when you're a law student and you take criminal law and you realize that in every state except Florida, Georgia, and Alabama, a victim's dress is admissible is. in a rape prosecution. So in the 70s, they created these things called rape shield laws because a woman's past sexual history, the fact that she wasn't a virgin or she had slept with someone else, that was admissible to say, hey, I didn't rape her. She's a slut, right? And, and Everyone in the neighborhood has had sex with her. Exactly, and that was a defense. God. And not, only three states included a victim's clothing in the rape shield law. So for me, slut walk now, wait takes a, a different I'm not, meaning. I'm still not clear on that. Every state except three says how a woman is dressed is can be admissible. Can be admissible to excuse rape or less or sentencing. It can be taken into account by the judge in sentencing. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. I've seen prosecutions when I worked at the AG's office where there was this big board and they put the woman's clothing on the board, pinned so you can see what it was like, and they would show the jury. And if that's not prejudicial, I don't know what because it is. Because in what I responded to on the website is I said that that's, that doesn't happen anymore. Only three states of the rape shield laws include dress. You can't bring up sexual history anymore, but... You can bring up dress. Yes. They make women responsible for sex. Totally. We're also responsible for birth control. And parenting, and parenting, and feeding, and clothing, and cleaning, and yeah. And then they wonder right. why we're not all sluts, which is what they want. <laughs> <laughs> and then, if we are, we were, we're punished. Yes. Oh, it's such a beautiful, lovely world, isn't it? Here's the whole point. This is such a moot uh, issue for me. It, you know, in my 80s, I guess I could, no, I could figure out a way to look. You could look slutty. Absolutely. We can do it. I'm going to get... Um, Mesh stockings yes. and boots. I used to look pretty slutty in, in Maybe you can wear your strap on. In my <laughs> there, there you go. I'll wear my strap on over whatever. And and a big dildo. How's that one? That's good for a slut. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh my god, look at that old lady with that big dick. <laughs> and then somebody's gonna say, I fuck her. <laughs> She's hot. Oh, to be this old and to still be involved with sex is hysterical. I love it. It's a great ride. I, yeah, I do. I love it. I love it.